why I can't inaugurate 14 Edo lawmakers, Obaseki. Hello, my Nigerian people. Welcome to our channel. Uh, thank you for following us. May God bless you wherever you are. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and share this post, please. Uh, let's get back to the story. So, uh, Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, has said he lacked the power to bring back 14 State House of Assembly uh, lawmakers yet to be inaugurated. A statement quoted uh, Obaseki as stating this in an interview with Newsman when he paid a thank you visit to the uh, National Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party in Abuja. Obaseki explained that the group of the 14 lawmakers refused to be inaugurated. He also said, quoting him, they were listening to their godfather who kept hoping and promising that he would uh, unconstitutionally get the State House of Assembly to reissue a proclamation even after the court had settled the matter. For more than 180 days, they did not come. They refused to represent the people. Those seats became vacant. That's what the constitution says. They went to court after those uh, were declared vacant by the speaker. There's nothing I can do to that at this time. I wish, I wish uh, they did not, uh, I wish it did not happen, but People were playing God and promising what is not constitutionally possible. It's not about me. I'm an elected governor of Edo State. I'm not one that planted people into the House of Assembly. They, on their own, operated the rules the way it should be. The seats are now vacant. We should learn that democracy is underpinned by the constitution and the law. Even if I wanted today to bring them back, I don't have such powers. I did not do anything against them because I do not uh, have such authority to bring them back to the house." End of quote. The crisis in the Edo State House of Assembly began when it was inaugurated under controversial circumstances at ninth, with only nine out of 24 lawmakers elect on June 17, 2019, following an alleged proclamation by the governor. The lawmakers, who were not part of the process, as well as the APC, uh, rejected the process and called on the governor to issue a fresh proclamation. However, the Federal High Court in River State barred the governor from doing so. A separate court also barred the National Assembly from taking over the Edo Assembly. This crisis wasn't, this wasn't the crisis, wasn't the crisis uh, within the APC in the state and deepen the field between uh, Obaseki and his predecessor, Adams Oshomole, who was also the national chairman of the APC. The governor was believed to have orchestrated the suspension of Oshomole from the party at the world level. In retaliation, uh, Oshomole ensured that Obaseki did not clinch the governorship, governorship uh, tickets of the APC and Pastor Ize Iyamu uh, emerged as the winner of the primary. The crisis in the Edo State chapter of the APC and the multiple court rulings on Oshomole's suspension snowballed into a national crisis that culminated in the President Major General Mohamed Buhari dissolving the National Working Committee of the APC, causing Oshomole to lose his position. An attempt by the aggrieved lawmakers to be inaugurated was, however, scuttled by men claiming to be renovating the assembly complex. However, the APC claimed the men were thugs hired by the governor who was afraid of being impeached. So this story uh, basically just tells us of how tells us how uh, things are going on in uh, Edo State. That there are still a lot of uh, grievances and uh, issues in the state house of assembly. So those is issues haven't been uh, settled. 14 state house of assembly lawmakers are still yet to be inaugurated and they, I don't know, maybe they are part of the APC. So they probably want to be uh, re-inaugurated re uh, at a later date. But I'm guessing the governor won't allow them back into the House of Assembly. So uh, 
this will be another issue for uh, Godwin Obaseki. He will have to deal with this. I know a lot of people are going to put uh, a lot of pressure on him to rectify such issues, but it's up to him to, you know, uh, navigate the waters the way he sees fit. He has won re-election, so he has nothing to worry about again. So let's hear your, your opinion on this uh, story. What do you think will happen next in Edo State? Are uh, we still going to be hearing about uh, uh, many or numerous uh, political unrest in that state? Please let us know in the comments section. Thank you for listening. God bless you.